All right. My name is Brian Banks, and I thank you for joining me on your career day. Uh, can you give us your name? Chanel Stitt. And can you give us your hometown? I am from Ypsilanti, Michigan. All right. Great place. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you give me your career title? Yeah, so I'm a business reporter at the Detroit Free Press. Okay. And what does that entail? So I'm a special kind of business reporter. So it's a little different than what you might typically see where business reporters are typically covering finance and uh, stocks and development and things like that. My focus is on minority owned businesses. So in the city of Detroit, um, the minority is the majority where the population is mostly black. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm really like honing in on the black experience as a entrepreneur um, and also expanding to the Arab experience and the Latinx experiences. Um, so that's pretty much what I cover. I also branched into nonprofits as well um, and covered the funding aspects of nonprofits. So anytime someone gets a grant or things like that. Oh, great. Sounds good. Now, what type of education is, no, you know what, let me back up. What, um, yeah, what type of education is required? Because we talked about your, we talked about what the job entails. So let's go to what type of education is required. Yeah, so a, a college degree is preferred. So you would go to undergrad uh, and get your degree. Um, but sometimes I have seen people who are very talented kind of make their own way without a college degree. Um, so that's pretty interesting. It's really about like who you want to be in the end. Mm -hmm. um, and so what I did, I went to Washtenaw Technical Middle College in high school, which is located at Washtenaw Community College. Mm -hmm. And um, during that experience, you know, I was taking writing classes and I had to choose my college degree very early. I think I was like 16 years old when I decided uh, what major I wanted to do. And so I chose journalism. I started my journalism classes and my first class was journalism 101. And I think um, the first story that I did was a protest outside of Eastern Michigan University. Uh, mm -hmm. There were racial slurs that were sprayed on the side of a building. And I saw it because I was trying to get to school um, and I couldn't because the protest was like in the middle of the street. Um, so I ended up writing about it and I um, pitched it to the student newspaper. And mm -hmm. the next day it was on the front page and I was just like, maybe this is where it needs to be. So um, I started working for the Washtenaw Voice which is their student newspaper at uh, Washtenaw Community College. And it just kind of took off from there. <laughs> oh, that's great. Now, you, you, you touched on a little bit. You went to Washtenaw Technical Middle College. Can you explain what that is? Yeah, so Washtenaw Technical Middle College is an early college program. So when you're in high school, um, you go you end up transferring to the school or you start fresh in ninth grade mm -hmm. and you choose your college degree and you're able to get your associate's degree for free. Um, and you also get to have the college experience. So I would say um, I ended up going to the University of Michigan Dearborn. Once I got there, I was already used to the college experience. I knew how to navigate and get around. Um, I knew how to handle the workload as well. Some of my classes at Washtenaw were very, uh, content heavy and so once I got to U of M Dearborn I was like wow like I can like wing this I'm good at it you know I know how to study um, those are some of the skills that they teach you how to do how to have soft skills so you're learning again how to study um, how to make networking connections and um, how to get involved as a student um, and once I got to U of M Dearborn, I was a little too involved because I already was involved in like uh, college clubs and high school clubs at the same time when I was at WCMC. So I was on prom committee, I was on the, but then I was also on the college's student newspaper. So I was like constantly going back and forth between being a high school student and a college student. Um, so yeah, I would just say that it really prepared me um, and, 
I only had to do like a four-year university for two and a half years because I had already did that learning process during high school. And so uh, very, it gives you a cheaper experience of like a four-year university too. <laughs> no, that's great. Thank you for explaining that. Um, now, what is the best type of person suited for being a writer? Yeah, I would say if you are creative, um, if you love writing, if you love reading, um, even if you love journaling, you are able to kind of put your words down on paper. Um, those are the type of people that would be in this career field. People who are social, um, you have to go up and talk to a lot of random people that you never met before. Um, some of them, like, you know, some of them you have to be cautious around, <laughs> like you just yeah. never know. Um, and so, uh, you know, you have to be very social. Um, you have to be very observant too. So um, just noticing things and um, a little nosy too. Uh, <laughs> that's how like I give my best stories just by being nosy and just like, you know, going the extra step to click something to see what it means or, um, you know, going to a coffee shop and uh, not necessarily listening to people's conversations, but paying attention to the type of people that are there and, you know, seeing, learning more about their problems. And uh, I am very known for starting random conversations with people so um you know just getting to know the residents of each area is super important okay all right so, also i will add one more yeah. thing you have to ask questions that's a very important part of the yeah. job <laughs> okay. um you talked about a little bit but what was your role to your current position yeah, so um, like I said, I started at the student newspaper. Once I got to U of M Dearborn, I did internships at Model D Media, which is um, part of Second Wave Media, which is like a news outlet that is in multiple communities. So the one that you guys might know um, is Concentrate Ann Arbor. Uh, that's where I got started as well. I was doing freelance work for them where, you know, I... Uh, they contract me out to kind of report about the city of Ypsilanti. Um, and so back to Model D, I did that for a semester. Then I went to Channel 4 News, which is Local 4, um, also WDIV. It depends on like how the public kind of knows the name. Um, and so I interned there on their special projects team. So I was helping out with the investigative team, the health team, um, and the finance team. After that, um, I became the editor in chief of the Michigan Journal newspaper at U of M Dearborn, which means that I was the boss around there. Um, <laughs> it was a fun job for sure. Uh, and I had like an incredible team, like those, some of them are like still my friends to this day. Um, yeah. They are just incredible people. Um, and then after that, I graduated in 2019 with a bachelor's in journalism. And then I moved back home to Ypsilanti and I started working as an intern at the Ann Arbor News, which is a part of MLive. Um, and I interned there from, I think, January, 2020 to May, 2020. So as you all know, halfway through the pandemic started and I had to think, okay, what are my next steps? Because originally I was going down the broadcast track. I wanted to be on camera. I wanted to be a reporter. I wanted the glitz and glam and everything. Um, but once the pandemic hit, uh, I had like a personality shift. I didn't really, uh, the thought of getting dressed every day just didn't sound great to me. <laughs> and so I didn't want to have to get my hair done every day and put on makeup and then go into the office because everybody else was at home except for them. You know, I just, I wasn't interested in it. So I said, you know, it's time for me to like shift my career again for the 11th time. <laughs> and, um, and so I just decided, you know, I want to stay with print. And so um, I started interning at the Detroit Free Press in June 2020, and I was hired as a full-time reporter in August 2020, so it was pretty fast. <laughs> wow, that's great. 
So what makes this career fun, interesting, or exciting, or all of the above? I would say it's fun and exciting because it's constantly evolving. Um, every day is not the same at all. Like you might have a really fun day where like say you're uh, um, like one day the vice president Kamala Harris came to town and so I got to follow her around all day and like report about that like that was fun and then another day like you might be like uh, covering a protest or something so your um, your tone is constantly changing where you know you're doing something happy you're doing something sad uh, but it's all about you know, delivering the best content to the public and the best, the truthful, the accurate, all of that is um, super important. So yeah, that's the fun part. No day is the same. I hate when a schedule is always the same. So uh, (laughs) I definitely am in the right place. (laughs) Great. So last question, what advice would you give to someone that uh, might want to follow in your footsteps? I would say, Um, find a mentor. Mentors are so important. Um, You need to have somebody that um, looks like you as well. Um, And then I always recommend that you, once you find that person, you find um, what one of my mentors calls a board of directors. So -hmm. you have multiple people that can help you with different parts of your life. Um, And so I think that, you know, I have a board of directors of like 10 people, you know, but I can call them all for very different things. Um, And I think you should always have a mentor that's outside of your career field, too, um, because, you know, they can give you advice about things that you never would have thought of. Um, And then another thing I would just say, you know, join an organization that is journalism related. So I'm a part of the National Association of Black Journalists. I'm super involved. I'm a local board member in Detroit. um, And I'm also a member of the different task forces that are, you know, national. Um, And I also served on the National Elections Committee. So get yourself involved. Um, That gets you into doors that you never know existed. So it's super important. Great. Thank you, Chanel. I really appreciate your time. And uh, I think you're going to help a lot of people with this. Awesome. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Have a great day. You too.